All right, guys, let's drive the car. Here is the key. First of all, very light, very nice key. What you can do with the key is just lock and unlock the car, of course, but you have also keyless entrance. You can put your finger here to lock the car. Electric folding mirrors, unlock the car, putting your hand here. Uh, also, what I notice is that the quality of the doors are super nice i mean i love the sound of it uh, we have 18 inch rims here uh, come standard on this advanced version this is the advanced version guys a ventilated brake this on the front beautiful rims also nice rims on the back there the car look just lovely uh, on the exterior and also it has a much much nicer design as the previous version in my opinion much more simple much more slick and and better aerodynamic let's go inside the car here guys we have leather seat lovely seats uh, bright they are super comfy i sit on the car i drive the car before and they are super comfy electric adjustable seats also we have aluminum pedals super nice pedals and yeah let me go inside the car let me give you some technical data really fast but i have a separate video guys full review with the same car interior exterior your technical data in that video you can find out everything i mean material quality space everything about the car check out that video guys in this video i want to focus on driving i don't want to give you too many information but we have the advanced version this is the top end version here uh the price of the car 14,990 francs uh is the starting price added options uh can go even higher uh it comes also with 18 inch rims as standard it comes with all that safety features adaptive cruise control emergency brake blind spot technology in the corner all those cars come standard all new civic uh, Honda Civic Hybrid comes standard with all that safety features and also with the 9 inch uh, display. A little bit going forward to the details, the car comes with a 2 liter petrol engine, 184 horsepower, 315 newton meters, 8.1 seconds, 0 to 100, the maximum speed 180 km per hour. Uh, also consumption around uh, 6.6 liters and yeah anyway let's drive it guys press the brake this is the start uh, engine button actually start uh, motor or engine because in the first place it start uh, in silent it's it's work with the battery and with the electric motors and I want to tell you that the car come with two electric motors and one petrol engine and one electric motor it's very small act like a act like a generator and the other one it's helping you right now when we will start driving uh, from down here you have electronic handbrake auto hold different driving modes you can change different driving modes like echo mode normal sport individual mode we will drive in echo first of all uh, and also you have this shift by wire transmission this is quite new and really cool uh, if you press the d you are in driving if you want to go in reverse you go in reverse uh, and parking you just press those buttons here it's so easy to to drive everything it's easy to reach out here uh, center armrest it's gorgeous center console as well perfect everything it's very very nice place it even the climatic system it's so easy to reach out and to change and even the vents are awesome more about that check out the review video let's drive the car now let's put it in drive and let's drive it right now you notice immediately that we drive in electric mode uh, it's a full hybrid as I said it has a bigger electric motor and a small one climatic system it's on we are driving in in electric mode with the climatic system on as well lovely visibility around the windows we have big big windows um, and you have a perfect perfect visibility lovely position on those seats I sit really really well here great grip on the steering wheel as well let's see how much time we can drive in silent in electric mode we still are in electric mode it's crazy silent inside here the sound insulation it's also very good i noticed that when i reviewed the car also from here you can set up the cruise control from the right side guys um, you have the limit or you have also the possibility to to set it up lane assist of course it comes with lane assist and all that 
you can see it's warning right now when you go on the line on the side wow I'm, I'm impressed how much you can drive in electric mode we are still in electric mode right now we are in echo right now the petrol engine kick in but wow you don't even feel it you don't even notice that wow the handlings are are gorgeous really good I love it you have blind spot technology in the corners there that warn you if it's a car um, in the blind spot it's so simple to activate the cruise control or to set the speed here you just have to, to press a button here on the steering can set the speed from here just like that right now we set up the speed let's set it up to 83 for example yes and right now the car will keep the lanes We'll keep the speed, we'll accelerate, we'll brake. Also, the car can read the traffic speed limit, uh, can stay between the lanes. And you can see, let's see how good it is at staying between. It's warning you to put your hand on the steering wheel. You put your hand and then it will continue that. Um, always, always have your hand on the steering wheel, guys. You can see it's not yet a perfect system, but it's very useful on the highway. I will have the hands here for the safety. It's quite good it's quite good really good um, I like it look at this it's still still stay between the lanes on the highway it's just perfect um, I love it and also I love those new vans I mean really cool design I feel good here I mean on those seats it's super comfy I have a great driving position because they change also the A pillar from the previous version. I have a better view, so the windshield is bigger, so I have a great view. Even the A pillar, what I notice, it's quite small. Wow, this is good. I mean, I love that. In comparison with my Tesla Model 3, for example, where the A pillar is bigger, now here I feel like I have much better visibility and also they move the, the mirror, they move it on the body of the door and I have a better visibility in this angle here. So, wow, perfect, Honda, I love that. Anyway, guys, the cruise control, it's, it's awesome. It's really good. lovely car i mean the transition between uh electric mode and petrol engine it's it's fabulous we have electric adjustable mirrors you can adjust it electrically from here very easy very very easy you can adjust them while you're driving you can do that S super 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 easy lovely when i start to like this car i didn't think it will be that good I wasn't think will be that good guys I have to say that my hands are frozen I put it on low and my hands are actually frozen in comparison with my car when I put it on low it need a little bit of time but now it's, it's really cold inside the car good visibility surprisingly also in this mirror up here wow really good visibility I can see in the back they're quite quite good great view in the mirrors man you have to test drive this car guys I tell you it's really good the pedals feel good they are nice they are smooth I 
like the fact that it's silent inside the cabin. Oh boy. I, I'm really, really curious to see the Type R, the Honda Civic Type R, but this Honda Civic, it's just top. I can't say anything about the car. Of course, there are a few things here and there, but for the price, what you will get, it's, it's, it's a proper deal. This, this engine, it's phenomenal. I think you can get some amazing consumption out of the car. I tell you, I think you can get some, some gorgeous consumptions. Go to home here. You can see this en energy flow, a lot of information there. 4.7 liter consumption until now. Let's go out here. It stays good also on the curves. The car is a little bit brighter right now. They improve also this Look at there, it shows you how much battery you have, what happened with the energy right now. You can see right now we go downhill so the energy will regenerate back in the battery because we go downhill. Oh, by the way, I didn't say anything about the suspension. Suspensions. Let me let me feel it a little bit more. We will turn around here. Wow, the suspension are good. Surprisingly good. I was expect to be a little bit more stiffer like an electric car. Look how easy I change the gears. I just press a few buttons here. Yeah, I don't even need to look at it's so easy to change the gears suspension are good guys are more like in the comfort area but let's change the driving mode let's go in sport mode let's see how are the suspension in sport mode wow the car is much more powerful in sport mode much more responsive when you press the acceleration the steering it's a, a little bit more stiffer yes and I feel I already feel like it's 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 much more sportier it stays very good on the ground this is what I notice it stays really really good but in the same time it gives you that great comfort over the bumps and the suspension are good setup uh, for a daily driver but in the same time to give you a little bit of um, action sometimes from time to time oh boy the gear shifter it's fabulous it's so fast no no the transition it's top notch I mean the transition between electric I think this this system that Honda use it's one of the best on the market today in terms of hybrid system transition between um, electric and petrol engine the transition it's fabulous I mean it's it's incredible good I tell you 5.3 liter consumption oh my god and I didn't drive economical at all I mean, I think I can get some amazing consumption out of this car. I think I can get around three liters um, if I drive slowly and steady. It's good car, really good car. I will try to shut up now to enjoy the car.
this is hard this is a hard one uh, it's hard this this is a hard curve for autopilot but he's doing it oh my god with wait a little bit yeah not bad not bad great job anyway let me deactivate it good let me take the control really nice the seats are very good guys I want to mention one more time very good the position of driving it's fabulous for me at least is whew, much better than in my Tesla Model 3 let's go in normal mode normal mode should be somewhere between sporty and eco I think in normal mode the steering wheel it's back to it was in eco mode a kind of a normal mode very smooth very very smooth the acceleration the, the pedals the transition the it's crazy good i mean everything work so smooth easy to reach out the buttons down here easy to reach out the climatic system for example it's also the climatic system it's very silent but in the same time my hands are super cold <laughs> but I have to keep on the climatic system because of the camera it's too hot outside and then it will it will stop uh, if you if you film for 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 a long time in 4k it will stop so I have to keep the climatic system on and for the purpose of the video and for the consumption I want to keep it on and look at this 5.4 liters consumption until now with the climatic system on oh boy it's, it's really really good boy in curves it stays really good I tell you the handlings are great it really feel like it's sticking to the ground and this is something that I like very much it's fast it's it's stable it's comfortable but the suspension are they feel super comfy so don't expect to have stiffer suspension or to feel the bumps because you don't feel it it's they are comfortable if I'm not wrong we have McPherson independent suspension on the front on the rear we have multi-link independent if I remember well but look at this super super comfy imagine to have the handlings of a sporty car with the suspension of a comfortable car this is kind of my resume for that back here I like that the climatic system it's silent in other cars usually when I turn on the climatic system it's relatively noisy but now it's, it's quite silent over the bumps here again it's doing great it's doing really really good okay uh let me show you how you park it go in reverse and you can see going in reverse right now right here parking it's quite easy because you have this reverse camera the resolution of the camera is not the best guys you have also four parking sensors in the front in the rear it's not the best resolution but it's very useful i mean it's more than you need put it in park and electronic handbrake climatic system on one that was all 5.1 liter consumption and the battery in this time 
is charging you know it was like half and now it's almost full charge and i have 5.1 liter consumption oh my god this is really good wow impressive I i'm super impressed with that <laughs> that was the video that was the test drive with this new honda civic hybrid version um i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information from the video i hope i cover everything also if you want to see the full review i have a separate video where i explain you everything about the car interior exterior material quality uh, multimedia system and more check out on the channel probably the video is already there if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see when that uh, video will come out on the channel if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check out Blunier uh, Honda in Bern guys I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car test drive the car see the car check them out so the link will be in the description they are nice and also um, as you see the price are kind of standard but really good price for what the car offer I mean the driving system is just fabulous I mean the transition between electric and and petrol engine it's it's one of the best in the market that i test until now it's really good comfort on those seats it's just perfect and the driving position and the visibility and the suspensions for a daily driver is you have to test go test the car and then write me down below if i'm right or not anyway that was the video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that guys so thank you very much to all of you that watching my video uh, don't miss out the other new cars on my channel stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys